Hi, I'm Thomas Humphrey, Senior Scientist at the Exploratorium, and I'm standing in front of a huge, lovely mirror that came into our possession some months ago. This mirror is unlike any other that we've ever had at the Exploratorium, simply in the quality of the images it makes. It's a curved mirror. It could be either spherical or parabolic. In fact, we're going to do some experiments to find out what the shape is in just a minute. It's a curved mirror, so it makes images that float in space. And the image that floats in space here is so perfect that you actually can walk up if your girlfriend is standing over here and her image is upside down in space. You can go kiss her and it feels real. You, can, you, you whisper into people's ears, you can kiss them, you can look at their faces, all pop out quite naturally and quite beautifully in front of the mirror. So the experiment I'm going to do came from a conversation that I had with some staff members here. I don't know how many of you do optics, but when you encounter a mirror that's curved like this one, usually the first questions you ask are, is it spherical or is it parabolic? And they both do different kinds of things. So I thought that I would invent a little experiment to figure out whether this mirror is spherical and if it's perfectly spherical. So the experiment involves having a little styrofoam ball that's mounted on this rod, and the styrofoam ball is positioned in front of the mirror. There's the mirror in the back, here's the styrofoam ball. When you look in this way at the styrofoam ball, you you will see an image of a ball right next to it. In fact, not just right next to it, but on top of it, because I've slid the ball around to just the right position where the image of the ball lands right on top of the ball. Now, this is a property of spherical mirrors, and in this case, where the image is in the same place as the object itself, that means that this ball is positioned right at the center of curvature of the mirror. So right there, it makes a beautiful image. Now, if you notice carefully, when you look in this direction through the styrofoam ball and at its image, you are really only using the very central part of the mirror. The light's going back there, bouncing off that part and coming back here to make the image. So we're not really testing the other parts of the mirror to see if they are as spherical as that part is. But we can test them by simply moving around. So first of all, I look this way. I find the two balls, the real ball and the image ball, are perfectly lined up. And now I go over here and I look down, so I'm using the very upper right upper part of the mirror. And when I do that, I find that the image ball has moved slightly off to the side and slightly up. I can investigate every part of this mirror by simply aiming my gaze right towards that part of the mirror. And as I do, I find that the image ball moves around, either up or down or left or right. And that information is telling me how deformed this mirror is, how different it is from being perfectly spherical. And here's the way it works. <coughs> I have a little mirror here to give you a an example, when the light goes in this direction towards the upper right part of the mirror, I see the image ball having moved off to the right and having moved up. Now, in order for it to go off to the right, that means that that portion of the mirror over there is not perfectly perpendicular to this light. It's tilted just a little bit. And so the, the mirror on the right-hand portion is angled ever so slightly off in this direction to make the image move in that direction. Now, I can calculate how much it is angled because I know that the light goes from this ball to the mirror and then back. And when it comes back, it's moved by about a half of a ball thickness. So it's going slightly sideways. So there's this long line going towards the mirror and then another line coming back almost parallel to that one, but not exactly. And that angle is just about the size of the ball divided by how far it is to that mirror. Very, very small angle. It's less than one degree. <laughs> well, that angle, that uh, the image being over here, tells me that the, that the mirror is turned, but it's turned even less than one degree, and here's the reason. If I want to deflect light through 90 degrees, you know, to go from here up to there, I only have to turn, turn the mirror 45 degrees, going from there to there. So if that mirror deflects the ray of light by, let's just say, it's one half of one degree, that means that the mirror is only out of line, out of sphericity, by one quarter of one degree. So by using this funky little styrofoam ball just here on top of some stools and just moving around and testing different parts of the mirror to see where the image comes back, we can actually say with great confidence that this mirror is not exactly spherical, that it is out of pure sphericity by something like one quarter of one degree. We've measured one quarter of one degree with this little ball.